Okay, in this tutorial, I'm just going to briefly explain the packaging system within the UDK. If you notice over here, here's all the packages that we have loaded. And you can see there's different folders with different packages in them. And then they have different subfolders as well, some of these. So, I'm just going to quickly explain how you can make your own real quick. Okay, so usually, in, a, in one package, you would want to group in similar, similar items usually that you've put together um, for a single purpose like for a map you're making or for you know a mod you're making or whatever the case may be so usually you're gonna make one when you go to import something new so I'm just gonna pick something here I've uh, got a bunch of stuff so um, okay I picked a mesh and now the first bit of information is the package name so this is the main name of your package here so let's do this um, my tutorial package now the group those are like the little subsections that I was showing you so you can see this is a, uh, a static mesh I'm bringing in so I'll put it into the group meshes and then for the name this is the name of whatever you're importing so I always like to uh, have an underscore then whatever it is just so that I can always remember exactly what it is just at quick glance Oh, and I forgot to mention, no spaces. Um, you can't have any spaces. That's why I like the underscore or um, capitalizing at key points so that you you can see it easily. All right, now here it is in my new package. Now you can see here this uh, my tutorials package, and then here's the group meshes that I showed you. So now let's uh, try a different one here. So I'm going to put it in the same package, except this one I'm going to put into textures. And I'll name it clouds underscore text. Um, just so, like I said, so I can remember what it is. And now you can see it just created a new little subgroup for us. So here's meshes, here's textures, but they're both in the package, my tutorial package. So, and then from here you can also, um, if you want to create something new, from within uh, the UDK, you can right click anywhere in here and go to whatever whatever you want or you can click new over here and then select it from here so you can go and you can put it in a different package or you can put it in a different group and you can rename it whatever you want so but then <coughs> you also get the same options from here so just whichever you want so let's call this uh, cloud underscore underscore mat for material and here is my new cloud material so let's just uh, put some of that together real quick and there it is and it's inside of my textures so this obviously wasn't made to go together but just to show you here once you've been using it for a while you really get to know what you're doing and there is my mesh from the mesh meshes section with a material applied from my textures section of my package and you can also uh, cross-reference to different packages as well so um, here's that same same mesh there with oh, here's a texture or a material on it from a completely different um, package so that works fine as well so and then to save this right click on your package and click save and then you can save it whatever you want wherever you want I haven't tested this in the uh, Unreal Development Kit yet but if it's anything like it was back in UT3 then if you rename your package later or move it then you'll have trouble because the map whatever map you put it in won't know where that new place is so make sure you you figure out where you want it for real the first time and, and leave it there so I'll just go ahead and put it um, in my content folder of my UDK game so my tutorial package UPK and there it is so now it's been placed it's still under new packages but it's also placed under the content folder because it's in the uh, 
because remember we just put it in the content folder of UDK game. Now another thing I was going to show you real quick is um, some of these packages you can, you can see they're kind of grayed out that's because they haven't been fully loaded into the UDK yet so it means they're there it knows that they're there they just haven't been fully loaded yet and sometimes that that's, makes a big difference and sometimes it doesn't okay so let's try this one here and this is a, a custom package that I have but there's a lot of other packages as well that you can you can try this with you can see it's kinda grayed out so right click on it and click fully load and that'll make sure that it, it has all the latest up-to-date information and any meshes that weren't loaded in before or any uh, assets will be loaded in, in now so you can see like here's a uh, here's a bass drum so and that's pretty much it like I showed you here here's the different um, groups So that's my sounds group, and you can name the groups whatever you want. Here's my instruments group. Um. Anyway, so you get the idea though. And then, like I said, you can also save these into folders. And the only difference is when you when you go to save your package, um. When you go to save your package, you put it into a specific folder instead of just in the in the general folders. So that's it for this tutorial, and I um, hope that helped you out.